In this video, we are showing you a solution for completing all missions of the 2022-2023 super-powered FLL robot game. Taking the inspection bonus and precision tokens into account, and assuming the opposing team raises their smart grid mission model, this solution would score a total of 410 points. We launch our robot 5 times and it takes us 2 minutes and 11 seconds, including attachment changes, to complete this run. Our robot is built from the LEGO Mindstorms Robot Inventor Kit, and we are using the Spike Prime programming language. Our program consists of 5 individual programs that we combined into one, and we either use the left or right buttons to trigger the next launch. Our robot itself is equipped with two quick adapters, one in the front and one in the back, to facilitate faster attachment changes. On top of that, we have some pins and brackets for holding the dinosaur toy and oil truck in place when we carry them across the field. In total, we use seven attachments. Some are used to solve multiple missions, and some of our attachments stay on from one launch to the next in order to save us time on attachment changes. In our first run, we use a relatively simple movable frame in the front for collecting and delivering the rechargeable battery, releasing the hybrid car, and raising the smart grid. In the rear, we are using a movable 4-bar box attachment with an arm sticking out on the left side for releasing, collecting, and delivering energy units from the wind turbine and power plant missions. In our second run, we use a static catcher in the front to collect the looped water units from the water reservoir as well as the energy units from the solar farm. In the rear, we use a passive bar mechanism to carry and drop energy units into the red hopper of the toy factory and a triangular bar structure to release the water from the hydroelectric dam during the second run. This attachment also has a movable side arm to pump the oil units for the third run. In our third run, we use a simple movable L-beam arm with a pin underneath the front to carry and drop the energy units that we collected earlier from the solar farm into the energy storage, and to remove the tray from underneath. Later, we use the same front arm to pull back on the truck from the oil platform in our fourth run. In our fifth run, we use a movable side arm in the front to carry and hang the two looped water units on the hooks of the water reservoir, as well as dropping the third water unit into the water reservoir. In the back, we use a simple, movable frame to drag our innovation project model and three energy units into the power to x target oval. All of our attachments and the robot fit into a single launch area, which gives us 20 points to start off the match. For our full run, our robot first starts in the right blue launch area. We use the basket attachment to push the activator of the watch television mission and collect the energy units from the wind turbine. We then pick up the rechargeable battery with the frame on the other end of the robot. To deliver the energy units from the wind turbine, we simply raise the basket attachment. With the frame attachment, we then release the hybrid car and raise the smart grid. Then, the robot drives across the field to the power plant. There, the robot first flips the top activator back, and then pushes the lower activator down with the basket attachment. The front energy unit drops into the basket while the other two energy units roll to the either home area where our team technicians catch them. In the second run, our robot makes its way over to the other side of the table. The dinosaur toy with the rechargeable battery inside rides on top of the robot. As the robot passes by the toy factory, all energy units that made it to the right home area during our first run are dropped into the red hopper. Then, the robot sweeps up the looped water units from the water reservoir and the energy units from the solar farm. Then, the robot quickly turns and brings those home before backing into the hydroelectric dam to release that energy unit. Our third run is a straight drive towards the energy storage mission model. There, the robot simply drops three energy units before positioning the rear arm underneath the activator of the oil platform. After pumping the oil, the robot moves back and then lowers the front arm to grab the tray from underneath the energy storage model and pull it home. The fourth program is a short, straight run to grab the oil truck and also bring it home. In our last run, the robot drives just past the hydroelectric dam where it lowers its side-swinging front arm attachment to drop the two looped water units onto the two hooks of the mission model. The third water unit just falls into the water reservoir. Our robot then continues its drive and drops three energy units as well as our innovation project model in the power to x target area. It then drives itself to the fueling station where it ends the run.
With this solution, we are able to score 410 total points, 20 points from the equipment inspection area, 130 points from the first run, 90 points from the second run, 50 points from the third run, 60 points from the fifth run, plus 50 points for all precision tokens and 10 bonus points for the assumption that the smart grid was also raised by the other team. And we did this all in 2 minutes and 11 seconds.